Many players have hit on these historic courts. Since 1922, the Balboa Park Tennis Club has been the home for kids learning how to hit backhands to longtime players catching up with partners on a sunny day in San Diego. Tapes and movies that I've seen, she didn't give away any free points. As the founder of the San Diego Tennis Hall of Fame, Larry Belinsky knows these courts well and the famous San Diegans that have played here. And he says, without a doubt, the most celebrated and talented player to grace these courts was Maureen Little Mo Connolly. Because she kind of went out with such the same kind of purpose and destroyed her opponent, they called her Little Mo after the Missouri battleship. Maureen Connolly is in my opinion, the greatest player I think this game has ever seen. From 1952 to 1954, Little Mo took the tennis world by storm. In her three-year career, Connolly had won nine major tournaments around the world, including becoming the first woman to win a Grand Slam. In 1953, at the age of 19, she won the Australian Open, US Open, French Open, and Wimbledon in the same calendar year, all without dropping a set. And she's done it. The little kid's done it. But just weeks after winning her third straight Wimbledon title, Connolly was in a horse riding accident that nearly took her life. While out riding near Mission Valley, her horse was spooked and pinned her against a passing cement truck, shattering her leg and forever ending her tennis career at the age of 20. She was lucky to have survived the accident. In the time after her career, Maureen married restaurateur Norman Brinker and had two children. But after being diagnosed with ovarian cancer, died at the young age of 34. Today, Maureen isn't the household name she was in the 50s, but her legacy lives on in the courts she grew up hitting on. We have this stadium that was named in her honor, a pavilion that was just recently named in her honor. I think that her name will last on forever here in San Diego. Tim Blodgett, News 8.